I'm here because it's really alarming what's happening in Senegal. For the past two years and a half, we have seen so much violence, so much injustice that had, uh, you know, it's these days, you know, I'm a student, right? I go to Catholic University. So I had to take summer off because I couldn't even concentrate on my study because of what's happening in Senegal. Like we have never seen such level of injustice done to the people. That's the reason why we come here to cry out to the world so that they can step up, they can step in and do something about what's happening in Senegal. What are you expecting from the U.S. authorities? What I'm expecting from the United States is what uh, Martin Luther King had expected, is what, ha what Rosa Parks has expected, is what um, Abraham Lincoln has expected. That's why we came here behind the, us is the White House. This is the landmark of freedom. This is the place where when people are hurt, when people are done injustice, this is the place where they come to cry out because of, you know why? We, they will hear us. Someone will listen. So what we see going on in Senegal is just very sad and it's tragic. It's a tragedy. So today, the Senegalese people, we organize to come to the United States. When you live in the United States for a little bit, you fall in love with the First Amendment. You have the freedom to say what you have to say. We fall in love with the Fourth Amendment. You cannot seize people without due process, without probable cause, without good reason. So that's why we hope that when we come here to the United States, where it is the symbol of freedom that we believe in, we will have some support and we will have an echo with the authorities.